you think you know martinis. And then there's an olive oil that comes along. It's just like Hey everyone, I'm Marissa Ross, and today we are gonna be making some olive oil washed martinis. So I didn't know what an olive oil washed martini was. It turns out it's a vodka infused with olive oil. It changes the game. And I'm pretty much fucking obsessed. First things first, you're gonna wanna mix your two main ingredients, your bottle of vodka with the olive oil. You're gonna wanna have that sitting in the freezer for one to five days. If you're like, I don't wanna wait one to five days, you do. This is worth it, trust. You're gonna wanna take it and strain it because you don't want any like frozen olive oil chunks. Unless you do. Get that ice all in there, ooh, yeah. And like with all martinis, you are then gonna wanna add some vermouth. You're gonna want some orange bitters. I'm just gonna do like a dash or two. She's so excited. Stir it. Give that shit a good stir. You want those flavors to be coming together. You are gonna pour this shit into your glass. Oh my gosh, are you so excited? Because I'm so excited. Add your garnish of choice. Set up a little garnish bar out of green olives. Cornichons or cocktail onions. I'm choosing cornichons because I love them. So now we get to drink it. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. It totally changes the weight and consistency of the martini. It makes it so much rounder and softer, but also while preserving the total martini flavors that you've come to know and love as a consenting drinking adult of age. Thank you so much for joining me and Pineapple today on our journey of olive oil wash martinis. I hope you enjoy yours as much as I enjoyed mine because, woo, definitely been enjoying it.